I think governments and states are very, very active in propaganda on social media as much as any other group, or I would say even more because they have so many resources at their disposal. Right. Um, so what that ends up doing is a like convoluting the conversations and discussions that you have on the Internet. And that's where a human rights framework, which your question was about, comes in. Right. So what does an ideal human rights framework look like? So before we you know, address that question, I think something that's of utmost importance is that when we talk about regulation, it should be inclusive. And when we talk about inclusive regulation, that means that all stakeholders um, that are involved should be consulted before any regulation is made. So this goes in any part of the world where you know you listen to the people, you listen to the voices, you listen listen to the experts, and give them a seat at the table um, and explain to them that what is the need and what needs to be done because governments alone are not capable of doing exercising um, you know such a, such such a creation of regulation. Um, and B, then you need to look at your, uh, you know, constitutional rights that are derived from the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Uh, so, so you look at your, uh, you know, extent of, okay, what are the lines you're going to draw between freedom of speech and expression and then dangerous speech that leads to incitement to violence, right? And I think that's where it has to be. But, but what we've seen is that governments have, you know, criminalized speech uh, to a very large extent. So we see criminal defamation in Pakistan and in so many other countries um, where that is used to silence any accountability. It's used by powerful individuals in cases of, say, sexual harassment that we've seen happen, you know, in Pakistan, in the U.S. and elsewhere. Um, but it's also used by governments to silence people because they feel that the government is being defamed <laughs> by journalists or commentators and activists. Um, so I think such conversations must be had uh, before we come to decide, OK, what are the lines we're going to draw? Um, and then lastly, I think transparency, like Nigat also underscored, is essential. Um, so what are the companies saying? What are the governments saying? How are they talking to each other? Because at the end of the day, it's our country, it's our words, it's our data, and it's our social media. We make it what it is. So we have to be the most important stakeholders of it. And we should not be you know, used or weaponized or silenced in any of this process.